Hello all you magnificent people, Derpo the Magnificent here, and today we're back with the sixth episode of the, the Expert Fists Only playthrough. One of these days I'll get the hang of that. Um, but yeah, we're back. Um, things have happened, and the, the, th the main thing is that I redid the Wall of Flesh fight, because people were like, mate, you shouldn't cheat. And one guy was like, nah, it's fine that you cheated, you're not Leviathan after all. And that, that's what really got me going. It became a matter of pride from that moment forward. N not, not really, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm joking. But, uh, yeah, it didn't really fit with the whole theme of the playthrough, which is the manliest man on earth and crap and all that shiz and, you know, the manliest man on earth wouldn't cheat. That's not how that works. That, that, that's not how that would go down at all. So, I had to redo it. Um, and I did beat it. So, yeah, here's that. trying to record my audio for it, but I screwed something up and didn't. So, you know, that's why you don't get to hear me go, yeah, and all that crap. Um, but that's probably not an issue because you got to hear me do that when I cheated. So, you know, uh, I have decided I will not be cheating ever again unless I physically cannot beat the boss any other way. In that case, I will be cheating in some other stuff in order to just try and make some more progress. Like if we get to the Moon Lord or something like that, maybe. But, other than that, no more cheating. 
because, like, especially after, like, two attempts. I gave that thing two attempts and then gave up. Are you kid, that, that was... I feel really, really stupid about that. So, yeah, that's not happening. Um, but anyway, we're in hard mode now. We get to do stuff. But anyway, um, let's go mining and stuff after I put some shiz away. So I really have no idea what this uh, life-empowered strike means. Um, I think that means... Oh, a thought. Maybe it means I do more damage the more health I have. That might be why it's doing like 900 damage and stuff like that. Yeah, that that would make sense. That's... that. Yeah, I, I would assume that's how that works. That's my only assumption. Anyway, let's look for some uh, stuff, you know? Oh yeah, and I totally didn't actually say anything about it, but... Freaking you saw, so I don't think there needs to really be anything said about it, but I built another house. So, yeah. Or welcome. There it is! In that direction. Board! One of these days I'll realize that that's a bad idea, but until that day, I'm just gonna do that, and it's gonna be entertaining. Still going. Hey, it stopped. That's good. Ah! There's a gross big old worm thing over there. Quickly find some more adamantite or, or chalcum before the. There's some. That way. Dig. Oh, there's an even bigger chunk over there. Go to that one first. That one's way more interesting. Go. Go, 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 go. Ah, punch the guy. No! Don't go that way. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's a rune wizard. Oh, that's a rune wizard. There's a rune man. Rune wizard! Oh, and a frickin' Medusa as well! Okay. Medusa's dead. Just gotta kill the rune wizard. There he is. Oh, punching him is so dangerous! He does, like, 200 damage on touch. We're okay, we killed him, he's dead. Aw, oh, he didn't drop like a special fist or anything. <laughs> I was really hoping. But, I guess not. Fine, I see how it is, game. See how it is. I see how it is. You don't want to give me really cool, interesting rewards that drop from incredibly rare enemies that most players would never get. <laughs> oh, the... F the hard mode fists are so much more fun because of the double uppercuts and stuff. Oh, that's so cool! Woo! Oh, it's fun. Oh, got a bunch more platinum as well. Fantastic. Not that we need it at all, but hey. Alright, or Chalcum Glove! It's literally just a glove. Parrying, Counter-Strike delivers, delivers a flowery finish. Combo gr grants protective barrier, awesome. Uh, yeah, we definitely have enough to make both. Got the glove and the pickaxe. Boom. Alright, so, Orch Welcome Glove. Looks really nice. Does a decent amount of damage. Gives us a protective barrier. Which gives us... A lot of defense. I don't know how much extra defense it is. Let me figure it out. Twelve. Amazing. Um, and then parrying gives you a nice... Thing that I can't show off on a dummy. But that's fine. Um... Cool. Uh, but now we gotta go get some adamantite, which is lower. Also, it needs to be raining at some point because I need to go kill some frost golems to steal them. Um. Relieve them of their cores! Good god, I am really good at talking. Here we go, for the parry. Nice parry. Nice! Okay, that's cool. That's what that does. Awesome. So parrying. Yeah. Also, I figured I should probably uh, actually explain how the, uh, the healing works here, because I never actually explained it in the last episode, which is really stupid of me. 
So when I find an enemy, I'll explain it. Or I could explain it right now and then show it to you when you find an enemy. Or when I find an enemy. So yeah, when you get hurt, uh, it shows you uh, those hearts that you can... Yeah, you can get that much health back in about two and a half seconds, three seconds, or whatever. You have a small amount of time in which to hit enemies in order to get that health back. Um, but it only gives you that for, like, the last hit that you took. So... If you take two hits, you'll only be able to get the health back for that second hit, not both hits, even though it were, they were both dealt in the same, like, three seconds or whatever it was. So, I hope that makes some sort of sense, um, because if it doesn't, I don't, I don't know what to do. Should probably grab some crystal shards just in case. Pretty sure we can make a fist out of this stuff. Well, you know what? <clears throat> we're in a relatively safe area, let's check. Ah, yes, the crystal gauntlet. Ah, unicorn horns. Okay, interesting. Don't freaking punch the guy. Don't open the menu. Oh my god! Imps, dude! What the frig? Imps are the worst. Ah, fine. I guess we're not in a safe position, and I'll just check it later. Alright, that should be enough. 149. That's a fairly large amount. Uh, yeah. Oh, the forge just takes 30. I thought it took way more than that. Oh, whatever. Oh, the bars take 5. That's what's expensive. Alright, and there's the adamantite fist. Uh, 123 melee damage. You don't say. Right-click to dash through enemies. Eh, dashing through enemies is kind of the most boring. Uh, dash grants more damage. Combo grants destructive punches? I'm kind of scared of what that means. But we'll give it a go. Oh, it just makes your punches explode. Oh, and it makes your... Oh, that's so cool! Okay, so yeah, once you get 8 power, once you get an 8 combo, it turns your fists on, and they just, like, make engine noises and emit smoke. That's so cool! Oh, and the dashes are just very nice. All right. Yeah, there's, there's the house I built. You, you probably saw it already, but... Yeah. Okay, so that's actually really cool. I do like that quite a bit. <laughs> Especially that. That's fun. <laughs> All right, that's a very fun little thing. Okay, so is there anything to make with the Souls of Light? Anything at all? Oh, the sparring mitt. That was it. Okay. Uh, right-click to dash through enemies, auto-consumes combo to increase melee damage by 100%. Not bad. Um, that's not a lot of damage to start with, though. That's interesting. Um, is that it, though? And then with Adam and Tite, we can make a couple other fists. There's the, yeah, the Forbidden Gauntlet, which needs fragments, and then the Iced Punch, which is apparently incredibly good against the Destroyer, but I don't, I'm not sure. Um, dash reduces life, oh, reduces damage, but steals life. Right-click to transform into a Raging Sandstorm. What? That sounds amazing. Combo causes attacks to wear away at enemies. Forbidden techniques in the palm of your hand. Cool. And then Iced Punch. Um, right click consumes combo to release a burst of icicles. Combo grants increased armor penetration and icy kicks. Okay. Those both sound very good, and I want to access both of them. So I will attempt to do so. Probably. Oh, yeah. How many crystals do we need? Probably should have checked before leaving. 30. Great. I'm probably also going to want to get some wings. So. Wyvern fighting. Probably. Uh, really should have found some more floating islands, to be honest. Uh, do we have any gravitation potions? We could do that now. Yeah, frick it. Let's, uh, let's go floating island hunting. Oh, hey! Frick, that was easy. Well, here we go. This, this is the place. This is where we're gonna fight stuff. Frick you guys! Woo! Low gravity! <laughs> Alright. Hey, a mechanical eye. Fantastic. That's one less summoner that I have to craft. Hey, Wyvern already. Fantastic. Woo! Oh, man, that was awesome. Fists, though. <laughs> That's fun. 
Oh, dude, they just come at you at the perfect angle to dash up through them. Fantastic. All right, so that's 14 souls of flight already. I should probably place some lice down. Some lice? Yes, some lice. So you guys can see, because lice are very beneficial for people's eyeballs. Aha! Okay, that's uh, all decent amount of damage. Oh, the petals themselves don't actually do a lot of damage. That's a little bit disappointing. But the, the counter strike itself does a lot of damage. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Not too bad. And we have enough souls of flight. Fantastic. That was not difficult at all. Blowski. Now we just need... We really need terrain. Um, I really wish I had the alchemist NPC, because... Sells a rain potion to make it rain. Um, a real bummer, that. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> I just sent that guy into orbit. He's never coming back. Oh, that was amazing. Dude, I actually knocked him out of spawn range. He just stopped existing. Oh, the poor guy. Okay, so it's not sandstorming either. Uh, those are the only two events we need at the moment. So, you know what? Let's build. Let's do some building. Yeah, frick it. Let's just... We got a thousand stone. Let's just sit around. Waiting to be turned into bricks. And let's go uh, add on to the floating island house. Because why not? That'll do for the basic just shape of the building. Uh, it, it needs lots of improvement, which will take probably an absurd amount of time. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. That only counts as one room, which is unfortunate. Five, six, at least for now. I'll have to fix that at some point, and then we need 12 chairs. This will just be it in its very most basic form, because, well, right now, that's all I need, is a very, very basic house. There's a bunch of very basic houses. Uh, now I just gotta wait for daytime and hope that the alchemist moves in so that we can get a rain potion and actually get started on farming up the next things that we need. Uh, may as well do this, because we got six, we got six new houses, so may as well get the, uh, new person as well. Die, traitor! God Damn it! I knew 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 I shouldn't have freaking picked up the plant to get the die trader first. Damn it! Ah, well, now we can run all over the world and extract all those uh, die plants that we have been passing up this entire time. Alchemists! That's not the right one, actually. It's like the potionist or something. I don't actually know what the name of the NPC is, but the alchemist is not the correct man. Unfortunately, because he's a man. I really wish the other one would show up first, because he's the not-so-useful one. Architect? What the- Frick you! Mark the Architect. Markitect has arrived. 
Who the frick is the architect? That's dumb. Let's see what the traveling merchant has. Let's see who the hell the architect is, and things will be wonderful. Probably. Maybe. Do you sell anything cool? You sell the Gatligator. I'm gonna buy that from you. Just, I'm not gonna be able to use it, but I'm gonna buy it from you anyway. Brewer! That's it! The brewer is the one we're looking for. Yes! Fantastic! Okay, first shop, filler blocks. Hey, look at that. You just sell nice block. Builder potions free for everyone but you. Frick you, mate. Oh, cool. These are like nice... Oh, wow. You sell like crystal blocks and rainbow bricks. And... Dude! Dude! This guy's really nice for building. Um, what else do you got? Basic furniture? Oh, dude! Oh, dude! This guy's actually really, really nice. Advanced furniture. Dude. None of those are advanced. Frick. Okay. Awesome. But we got the brewer. We done it. The brewer. Agnes. How you doing, my girl? Agnes? Agnes. Yes. Rain potion. Bloop. It's raining. Now we can finally fight the freaking things that I want to frick. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can also buy unicorn horns and crystal shards and stuff. So we can actually go ahead and get the crystal thing. Let's go ahead and buy 25 of these. And two of those. Oh frick, we can get cursed flame as well, which allows us to get the other thing. The... yeah, the blood bagnack. We need... ten of this. Oh hey, and there's the jeweler. We can ask him about all the different notes and stuff like that. Awesome! Well, a whole lot of progress is finally being made an hour and 13 minutes into the episode. Yeah, you sell nice things. Awesome. These NPCs are just incredibly helpful, let me just say. Oh yeah, die trader as well, we should probably go get some die and things. Dude. Wow, that was a lot of strange plants. Okay, so what did we get? We got Burning Hades, Fantastic, Gel, Blech, Mirage, Blech, Purple Ooze, Blech, Negative, Extra Blech, Reflective, Meh, and Shadow. Literal garbage. Um, but hey, Burning Hades, so now we can have friggin' Fists of Fury, is that a thing? We can't die our fists. I think we can. I think, I'm pretty sure there's a way you can, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't really know if I want to wear any of this dye at the moment. I'll just go put it away. Look, we need to go build a fist. Crystal fist. Crystal cutlet! Cow Strike unleashes crystal beams that build combo. That sounds really, really cool, so I'm going to be trying it out. Um, and then just quick stuff all this, and I don't have a dyes chest at the moment. Uh, here! Die. Yes, I know I spelled that incorrectly. That's part of the joke. Crystal gauntlet. Ah, it's it's a counter strike type thing. That's annoying. Well, well the power cost 17. Combo causes damage to refract towards nearby enemies. Oh, that's really cool. Anyway, uh ice guy. Ice guy. Yeah, we need battle potions and just good stuff. Ah, got one. Frozen! Punch the frick out of him! Wow! This is... No, 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 no! <laughs> you can't do anything, you suck! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, awesome. Frost core and a nice feather, fantastic! That is exactly what I need. Uh, I think I just need two frost cores, correct? Uh, let's very quickly check. Nope, let's not check. There's a guy. Oh yeah, frick! Try the crystal thing out. Ah, oh, it just... It really is just a beam. Interesting. Oh, there's the beam refraction thing. Oh my god, this guy's a jag. Okay, this is actually a little bit more difficult than I thought. Die, please! Okay, good. He died. Woo! Explosive fists! Awesome. 
Okay, so now we can very quickly make the uh, the other fist, the ice fist that we need to kill the destroyer. Um, and should we fight the destroyer? Probably not. Um, because, well, frick, we've been going for an incredibly long time. So, you know, probably not the best. Ice punch! It's a pun. Shh! Got him! Okay, so yeah. Uh, right click consumes combos to release a burst of icy thing. Combo grants uh, armor penetration. And icy kicks! Whoa, that's really cool! <laughs> oh, that's really interesting. Okay. And then you can right click to. Whoa, that's cool! Oh, that's nice. I like that. Wait, can we just build up combo and just fly forever? Is that how this works? I really hope that's how this works. Here we go! <laughs> Woo! That's really cool. I'm a fan of that. Oh yeah, we should get some wings as well, because we can make wings. Alright, interesting. Uh, but anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Hopefully this was somewhat entertaining. Uh, oh, I guess technically there was a boss fight in this episode, because I had to redo the, the Wall of Flesh and all that crap. So, yeah! That is going to do it for this episode of the Fists Only Expert Mode playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you'll have a magnificent day. Turbo the Magnificent out.